all right you guys welcome back to the channel um very close to this today it's pretty bad you know eventually his subscribers are gonna get sick and tired of hearing my fucking name right out his fucking mouth this is pretty low this is how low he's got stooped to showing us the junk cars again and talking about what he has what he don't have and what he has and we'll never have and we don't have and when anybody that works hard could have any of them cars he's got you could own a mock one in better shape than that for under 10 grand yep. you don't i mean way under 10 you know what i mean it might not be a finished fucking car but you can get one in better shape than that for 10 grand and barry you better watch calling people pedophiles with no fucking no proof Nazi? I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, that 30 grand you're getting, buddy, could go really, really, really far in my don't pocket. Think for one second, ain't no judge, even in Ohio, going to look at it and say, Where's your proof that you called him this, Mr. Beamer? You're going to be like, Well, they called me. That's, not, that's not how this works, Barry. We, they're going to say, Where's your proof at, Mr. Warner? I'm going to say, It's right here, Your Honor. Everything's on video, what this man said, the things he's done. Here's his tweets to these girls, and you can look at the pictures of the girls. You can see they, they're young. They're not older looking 18 year old girls. The younger, the better. Yep. So there's facts behind every fucking thing we have called you and said to you, Barry. So, Barry. From the first day I sent you a message and tried to warn you about using that word, talk about mock owing them, till now, I have tried to educate you. I'm trying to oh, educate you more now. now. Now we're all just one giant person, and yeah. it's it's not three. We he, have two YouTube channels, dude. Or one more work on cars and we don't fuck with Barry Beamer on that channel because nobody wants to hear about Barry Beamer on that channel. Here's what it comes across and say, you won't call us out on that channel because your subscribers will go to that. You want to you are out of your fucking mind because that's not for drama. This is for the extra. You're insignificant for, on that yeah, channel. Yeah, you're insignificant. You don't matter. Well, and look at the numbers, bud. They're growing. Every day they grow. I mean. You know, you talk shit about these other YouTubers like me, for instance. Hey, Barry, let's face some facts, some, some really hard facts that you can't handle. What about that YouTuber that you mouthed off about going to No Names? You know, he started out small, and then he blew past you, didn't he? Just like overnight, he created his channel way after you, right? He blew past you. Don't act like it's hard to blow past you, Barry. One fucking shout-out would fucking destroy you. We'd blow right past you. All it would take is the right person to shout us out. And they would come check out our main channel and see that we actually build cars. Hey, Barry, in fact, what'd you do today, buddy, besides this? I pulled an engine out of a Saab. What the fuck did you do today? Played around with tiny hands. Right. Hey, Barry, just because somebody likes German firearms doesn't make them a Nazi. You must have looked up my Star Model B and saw what the hell that was about. Just because somebody likes German guns doesn't make them a Nazi. It means that I like guns. And if you ever think you or anybody else you're with could ever say anything to make me put my hands on them, you are out of your mind. Because here's how things work, Barry. Break down some facts for you before I go there. Fact one, I've never threatened to beat you up, Barry. I've never threatened to put my hands on you, hurt you, or harm you in any way. You or your kid. Neither is my son. We beat you with words and facts, bud. That's one fact. Fact number two, you have done nothing but threaten to beat me up. You promised me an ass whooping and my son. So you're the one with the obligation here, buddy. You're the one that owes me the ass whooping. I'm not going to put my hands on you. You have to put your hands on me. And when you don't and you do see me and you do not walk up to me and put your hands on me, you're even going to be more of my bitch. I already own you, but I'm really going to own you then. Because me and Dad have made it clear there, Barry, because you'll talk about Santa Sedina swap me. We'll be there Friday. And I'm going to be live streaming. I'm going to give you the fame that you deserve so everyone can see how big of a badass you are. You're going to stand there and talk shit if you show. I don't, you're not going to show. but if you You're going to go Saturday and be on your chest knowing we're right. going to go there Friday. And you knew we've been going there from Friday from jump. Since all this started, we've made it clear. There's hundreds of videos or whatever, 20 videos I go back and watch. Okay, that's that's fact number two. Fact number three, my name is Jack, dude. You want to talk about Ornif? Growing up with the name Jack, I have been bullied mercilessly for that fucking name. Hey, hey. I mean, but that's a good thing because it taught me how to deal with people like you. I've dealt with bullies like you my whole fucking life. You'll pick on the weak, but you won't fuck with the strong. Here's how you deal with a bully. First of all, you don't ever threaten a bully back. You let a bully do what a bully has to do to you. He's only going to put his hands on you if he thinks and he thinks you're weaker than him and he knows you're not going to put your hands back on him. If he knows there's a chance that he might get hurt, he's not going to put his hands on you. But if he does put his hands on you, give it back to him with every fucking thing you have, even if he whips your ass. And every time he comes at you, take that ass whipping. And then he because eventually he'll get sick of fucking putting his hands on you because eventually you're going to get a good lick in. Or you're going to learn real quick like I did how to hold your own. Or, you know what else they do? 
they they be the bully until they get start getting fucked with hard, and then they want to be but, the victim. Sixty one year old grandpa. That's the way to deal with the bully. Find somebody that's bigger and more powerful than him that's on your side that can give it back to him. He'll leave you alone. You know what I think it is on a serious note? You know what I think bugs him about us? Because he don't mention nobody else but us. You know what I think it bugs him about us? The fact we've only been doing this for a month and we're already almost at 70 subscribers with almost 18,000 right. views. Right, I mean... I think that he thought we were just going to be nobodies. But once we started out pointing out Barry's flaws and Barry's little hidden secrets that he liked being pushed in the dark, right. he don't like that. Why is that launcher on your porch facing over to them people's yard? With their little kids playing? Yeah. How did you know they was on a swing? Nobody else could see they was on a swing. What fuck are you talking about, dude? If I was that kid's dad... <laughs> There's another fact, Barry. You want to talk... You're so stupid. What do you think this is, man? You think... Come to my driveway. You are out of your fucking... You must think you are dealing with Willie Lump Lump and the Funky Munch here. Well, you are on. dumber than fuck. I, I Listen, guess. hold on. I'm not done. I've been that knucklehead, dude. I spent my teens and my early 20s being that knucklehead. You know who broke me of that shit? The fucking penal system broke me of that shit. That's what I mean. I learned from my motherfucking mistakes. But here's here's one for you, Barry. You, since you're coming to Indy, buddy, I, I, I'm doing another one for you. You're coming to Indy, buddy. Hop on 40. Come on over past Plainfield. Pick any gas station on Highway 40 between Plainfield and Brazil. Go live. You're there. I'll be there, buddy. And you can throw me the ass whipping you want. That's called neutral ground, asshole. I'm not going to fight you unless you put your hands on me. But I'll show up and show that you're a coward and not going to do nothing. Because I've already offered to rent a ring... For you, and with no you gloves, need to, you do it no legally. Headgear. Fuck it, you can put on headgear, Barry. It's fine. Why well, ain't gonna hurt nothing? <laughs> I mean, you can talk about me being a punk and also being a punk. Nobody ever said that Austin was a tough guy. Nobody <laughs> I ever it you. It's good. This is good shit, Once you guys. Again, you're a coward. <laughs> Anybody that would come over and see, it would see. I offered to rent a ring so we could handle it legally. You could show how badass you really are. The only difference your driveway makes, Barry, between you and the ambulance ride is me and the cop car going with it. <laughs> That's the only difference in that shit. That's like all the cops. You know what I'm saying? It's like hiding the house and go. That's so, that so why he's going in the ambulance, I'm going in the cop car. No, I mean, I went. But I make you this promise, Barry. By end of summer, I will be at your end of your driveway. With a fucking much flyers. With flyers, because I'm passing them out in your neighborhood and I'm going to get out and in your live town. stream. I'm going to get live stream while I staple one on a pole at the end of your driveway. Just wait, Barry. I haven't lied to you yet. How about you old pedophile racist motherfucker? I'm telling you, <laughs> motherfucker. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> you cowardly motherfucker. With his tweets and everything. Listen, asshole. The right of way is five feet in Indiana. I look it up what it is in California. Or California. I'm an idiot. In Ohio. But I can walk into that ditch so many feet and I'm still okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to walk up there and step one at the end of your driveway. By end of summer, buddy, <laughs> it's coming. Your neighbors are going to know who the fuck you are. You're fucking done. You fucked with me, motherfucker. Fuck you, punk. <laughs> you are fucked. You think it's... Watch. You know <laughs> what I so find fucked, funny? You just don't even know. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say anything past this. He yeah. is mad because he has lost a bunch of things. Yeah. And we all know what those things are. Listen, any decent human being is going to see Barry and see what he said and the things he does. And they're going to dis disassociate from him. Any decent human being is going to say, hey, dude, don't you be talking about my shit. Don't you be calling me out. Don't you be doing this. If you're a decent human being, you are not going to want a racist, minor proven. attracted, proven, proven, minor attracted, love life, shouting out your fucking channel. You're not going to want it. You would have to have something in common with this motherfucker to want him anywhere near your channel. So Barry, that, you would have to be saying it's okay that he he talked to them girls like that. Them young looking, they look like they were sixteen. The younger, the better. Go look. You would have to stand behind him and say, "Hey, it's okay that he does that. It's okay that he talks about black people but, because he ain't just talked about black people in that one video. He talked about mixed race kids, like something's wrong with them. Like if the guy had mixed race kids, it was a bad thing. Make fun of him for it and shit. I mean, he's talked about Mexicans. Uh, 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 I'm not going to say the word for That's Italian nice. people and, and uh, people from the Mediterranean. I mean, he is a proven bigot. So if you stand behind him, that's what you are saying. You are saying it is okay that he has a voice, that he can get out here and spread hate and, and spread this hate shit. It's will catch on. No, it will catch on. He has done and it. He he's, knows he's this. He's not smart enough to lay down. If he was smart, he would stop this and rebrand and regroup and try to come back. 
He would come back with an apology. I've not always lived my life the best. I say things I don't always mean to say. I'm sorry, folks. Give me another chance. I'll be a better person. I'll actually build cars. I'll actually do things I'm supposed to do. I'll make my channel about what it's supposed to be, a garage. Not a fucking blog. life blog. So, I got two things to point out. One, you seen that comment on last night's video, right? When I fucking was putting his comments up. Duh. Like, you talk to your subscribers yeah, like that. I mean, you would come back to would apologize to every one of your subscribers you've ever mouthed off to and say, you guys, now I've thought about it. You do have a right. That, that's what makes my channel money is you guys comment and talking on my channel because the bigger the algorithm, the more they put my channel out there to the world. Because if you think about it on a serious note, Barry, I'm not going to say the people's names that you've shouted out in Mr. Obvious and shit. Those channels... How that person has probably got a lot of hate being on YouTube because you're you know you're in the public's eye. That person has he ever came out and disrespected any of his subscribers no, you have like you tried to stick all your subscribers on all these other channels on this Mr. Obvious shit. I, we, you ain't never once heard any of us say, "Hey, go get him." That's the difference between a putz and a real YouTuber. I mean, no, because they, man, that one the one guy in Canada got basically death threats for taking a bumper off of his old lady's car, dude. He didn't delete the comments. He just he just went on with the day. But that's the thing, Barry. Barry knows what they're saying is true about him, and it he eats knows, at him like us. Knows everything we're saying, dude. And I and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. His kid's name Ryan, right? Mm -hmm. And Brian, if you see this, I am sorry that your channel is destroyed because of him. I am sorry that he is your father, because I promise you, if I was your daddy. Your life would be so much different and so much better. <laughs> I promise. I apologize to you, kid, because you don't deserve what's about to happen to this channel. You don't deserve it. You work hard. But he cannot say the things that he said, and you know in your heart of hearts, because I'm talking to you, you know in your heart of hearts he cannot say the things that he has said on a public forum. On a public forum and be okay, because once one of the bigger YouTubers picked this up and oh. then YouTube realizes that he used their platform to, hate, to say that shit, they're demonetizing this shit. This shit is done. Hey, on a serious note, on a fucking real serious note, being having him as a dad wasn't easy for one, and that kid works his ass off. Right. Dude. Works his ass off to right. support his fucking dad. All this guy talks about, what's his videos is, my kid bought me this, my kid bought me this, my kid, money bags. He's like my wallet, he's like my bank account. I mean, who describes their kid as that? He's talking about, did you buy him tires and buy him this? I mean, the kid bought it for me, the kid bought it for me. You're his fucking dad, Barry. Grow up, be it. Talk about growing up. Grow up, be his fucking dad. Take care of him. Buy him something. At least take the boy out for more than a fucking fish sandwich, you fucking low life. <laughs> At least you'll take... get thirty thousand dollars and won't do nothing for that fucking kid. At least take him out and go get him a fish taco. I mean, come on, <laughs> Jesus. Break for some LJS or some shit. And one more thing on that. Hey, Barry. A serious note. Where's this? Where's this harbor freight jack at? Why haven't you been using that? Well, you, I mean, you haven't been making any the content. The PS5 is. <laughs> Took back. And one more thing. How is it that a man that says he has endless content does this in every you video? Content. All you do is walk around and talk about how great you are because you have these cars. You have this 80-car junkyard. This 80-yard fucking goddamn cemetery for cars. One Mako, one Mako called a Holocaust camp. Yeah, a, a fucking a concentration camp for cars. That's what the fuck, and cats and shit, and dogs, I mean. Dust I'm junkie. sorry, Ryan. I mean, you don't deserve this, kid. And you can say whatever you want to say about me. He's your dad. I, I understand. Because I would get my dad's back. You can say whatever you want to say about me, dude. I mean, I have no problem with you. And, and, and I hope that he never is dumb enough to put his hands on my kid. Because I'll apologize in their veins. Do let's get into the dust car junkyard video. This stuff's good, you guys. You guys are going to laugh your asses off. He can't even fucking read his own fucking numbers. And 2,500 of them are the ones I pay for <laughs> paying subscription like services like to get cool, me huh? subscribers. We know jackass and honestly don't have nothing like that cool. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We have the real version of that car, right? <laughs> the real version of that car. We don't need five of them. We only need one. <laughs> Cause he yeah. couldn't trade all five for one of ours. It's proven. It's proven. You are a pig. Oink oink, motherfucker. The kettle calling the kettle black. It's the pot calling the kettle. You're a fucking idiot. As long as you're on, so much more. The first time I get any damages, I didn't think you said bad about me. All kinds of shit. You know what? You're you're that mentally. Oh, am I? It, you're that, such a badass, dude. <laughs> that, you got, you got, oh, no. Uh, I better... Once again, Barry, let me remind you, I have the big boy version of that car. <laughs> the 
one you couldn't trade all five for. <laughs> Once again, you Dude, keep acting like Carlisle. quality means quality. Oh, yeah. Is that oh, yeah. the, uh, yeah, that's factor? Awesome <laughs> <laughs> Junk derby C car. Body. Get a real sea body. <laughs> I got I junk. Hey, 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 I'll say something. Hey, Beamer, what, what does Nova stand for? Here, I'll tell you. Nova, right, is the first one. N O Omega. Ventura, Omega, Apollo, Apollo, whatever. That's what Nova stands for, but you're a car guy. You know, you know these things. 81. Now, I've stolen from motherfuckers. I've robbed motherfuckers. And 79 got my own money on. Oh, have you? Your mom bought them cars. Your mom bought them cars. He's working so hard. What happened to the videos on that, Barry? <laughs> Started this channel, look like you're working hard, but that's just doing it off if you, you ever did. Like that, huh? I don't want one like that, bud. That's an ugly version of a barracuda. That's fucking hideous. <laughs> you can still get these cars reasonable. Oh, yeah. Seven five hundred bucks, you can get a decent one of them. Barry. Right there, Mach 1. All fours that was Mach 1s in that year was Mach 1s. I don't want one. I don't have shit. You're right, buddy. I fucking. I you're, still you're, suck you're, it on my mommy's teeth. I can buy a decent for $7,500. That's, well, that's, that's a $4,000 card. You going to be there Friday, Barry? Yeah, you got the ball in the show. You're, uh, we'll oh, yeah. Be Friday, we'll be there Friday, Friday bitch. Four-door Four Four junk. Door, Parts car. Parts, yeah. This one, we bought this at a used car lot. Why do you, why do you only have, have, you have a couple yard. good cars, but they're four doors. Nobody's saying you don't have cool cars, Barry. That's not one of them. That's, I picked it up for a fuck, no. Really that's the one he locked his fucking keys in the car to bucket right there. That motherfucking doghouse can help another real car live. Yep. So, 54. Junk car. Needs to go to the junkyard. That was in a junkyard. We'll never fucking road. go down the road again straight. <laughs> we'll never go down the road again and straight. And if you do, you won't want to ride it because the smell is going to be so horrible. I mean, yeah, because them fucking there ain't no foxes. Like that. <laughs> Eleanor, too, it was. I did say anything about these car lots. Maybe hey, Barry. It out. Question. Both were gone. It was missing. You act like you got the bullet car there. When are you going to get one of them? You know, a, a real Mustang. That's a true. desirable Mustang. You took it from one place where it's being parted yeah, out and would have another car's live to bring it there to ride away. And and scrap and my son car Parts car could say, you know, could help uh, save a GS or something. Skylark, Parts car. car. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, Barry, I'll buy the hood engines off of it. See you on the next one. Look at that. I want to point out something. That's this is a cool car, Barry. Don't like to say it's like that. Hang on. I could for 10 grand. Austin dickhead. I want to point something out. Barry's a tough guy. I want to point something out, you guys. Uh, Listen to how Barry's breathing. He is nervous right now. You are a pedo. You are. It's a kale calling a kettle black. Oh, yeah. Be careful what you say, Carl. Yeah. Don't get sued That's because there ain't no fans on you. It's about taking something from you. And you care about money. That road runner. Anytime, boys. Anytime. Listen. Anytime I offer to get your ring. Come on up here. Highway 40. Road so you road can road. have us arrested, you fucking idiot? Yeah, this ain't, we ain't See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Why won't you get in the ring with me, Barry? And do it legally. I have offered to rent. Listen, bud. I've offered to rent the ring because I don't want your boy to have to pay for the ring plus your hospital bills when it's said and done. Okay? <laughs> so I offered to rent the fucking ring and get in it with you, bud. In your town. So you can talk tough on this channel all you want to these people. Nobody in their right mind, unless they was a, a knucklehead young punk thug kid, would come to your driveway and come up your driveway and try to fight you, Barry. I don't want to fight you, Barry, but if you want to fight, I'll rent the ring. Or when you're in Indy, when you're not ever going to be in Indiana this weekend, but if you do come to Indiana this weekend, Highway 40, Plainfield, is 10 minutes from the fairgrounds. Go to Plainfield, drive west on 40, pick any gas station 20 miles from Plainfield on 40, pull in there, shoot, go live, do something. I'll be watching all day Saturday. PM me. I'll give you my phone number. Go to any of them fucking gas stations, dude. Let me know you're there. I'll start video blogging it from there, and I'll video blog all the way to the gas station and give you your fucking opportunity, son. Whenever you want it, bud. But if you think I'm going to show up and jump out of the car and put my hands on you, that's not going to happen. You're going to have to put your fucking hands on me because you promised me the ass whipping pussy. Never once said I was going to beat your ass, Barry. Not once. So now we're going to get into what I want to say. Hey, Barry, thanks for the shout-out, because anybody that Googles Barry and pedophile pops up, and then they're going to see the proof. 
You're not even fucking smart enough to understand that. For two, let's get into the real, you know, me and dad don't have cars, but when you gonna step up and get you a GS, you know, step up to the big boy toys. I mean, you want to talk about Buicks? Get you a big boy Buick, Barry. Do you have one of them? No. But you got five other motherfucking fuckers. Uh, you couldn't trade five for one of ours. Right. I mean, you're out of your fucking mind, dude. Hey, Barry, show us the option sheet on that, that fucking Skylark Custom that you showed up front with the Gold Wing. Show us the, the options. I want to see that Gold Wing being a factory option on that car. I don't want a Gold Wing on my car, man. I mean, that's Who the fuck would? Well, I mean, people, if people like it, cool. It's not a Honda. It's not for me. I mean... And stop acting like that Mach 1 is so special. That's a front row car lot car. Any asshole that went to the Ford dealership and walked in to buy a new car that day and wanted a Mustang Mach 1, signed a piece of paper and drove off in that car. There's nothing special ordered about that car. There's nothing special that makes it hey, a one that's of a, anything. that's a Cobra Jet. That is a front row dealership <laughs> car that in whatever year that fucking car is, the person that went in and qualified for the loan drove off in that car. They had red ones, blue ones, no. green ones, black ones. And you picked your fucking car, went out there, looked at the car in the lot, and drove off it. It was a front row dealership it's car. It's a no thrills fucking Mach yeah, 1. I mean, you act like you have something there, bud. You could buy that fucking same car in that condition for five grand any day of the yeah. week, and I'm being generous. Hey, Barry, how about this? How about you get that, that $30,000 or how much you're getting? How about, I want to see you do something. You like Mach 1 so much, and you like that. You're, I'm not a big fan of those, but hey, that's all about opinion. How about you go buy you a really rare one? Let's say a 420, 428 or 426 Cobra Jet car. Big block car. I want to see one of them in your driveway. And which is it Friday, Barry? Where are you going to be Friday? You're going to be getting that $32,000 check? No. You're going to be at the polls? Probably up there. Unless somebody's got a hold of the poll board or the poll people and said, hey, do you really want this racist pedophile doing it? Go check this channel out. Just listen to this shit this man says. You want him representing your fucking poll? You can spin it any way you want, Barry. You said it. You are that person. Remember? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, Barry. This is funny shit. On a serious note, heart to heart, you're not even fucking smart enough to understand what you're doing. You do realize that your subscribers don't subscribe to hear my name come out of your mouth, right? Just commented that shit on I mean, shit and said, hey, I'm not subscribing. I don't fucking get on your channel to fucking hear you talk shit about other men. Because that's all you're doing is talking shit. Trying to have a pissing contest. I got all these cars that I've collected for fucking 60. I hope when I'm 61, I don't have 80 fucking junk cars. Exactly. Cluttering out my fucking Quality neighborhood. over quantity. I mean, I, oh, and that reminds me. I almost forgot. In Square Bodies, Dickhead, I have three Square Bodies, Dickhead. Just because they're not set in fucking at this property. Because I own more than one. <laughs> They'll be here shortly, though. They'll be here shortly. I'll move, I'll move some cars around. I mean. Oh, yeah. Go subscribe to the Poor Man Speed Shop channel if you're new here, because in the future, I think we might build a Fall Guy truck, which Barry probably don't remember that TV show. Out of one of the square bodies. Out of one of the square bodies. So if you guys want to see a Fall Guy truck, which is a TV show from the 80s, build, the white one. go to that channel and subscribe. It'll be coming up here in the future. One more thing before I get off topic, Barry. I want you to understand something. You have said how many times you're going to be an Indian, you're going to beat our ass, right? You do realize if you don't show there Friday... You are going to look like the biggest bitch in the world, right? To all your subscribers. You do understand that, right? And then understand this when you show and you don't put your hands on me. And it's on when live. You start talking about, let's go outside, took it outside. And I look at you and say, bitch, you're going to put your hands on me, punk, or not? And you're not going to do it. And I turn around and walk away from you and leave you standing there talking mad shit, calling me a pussy and everything else. Everybody will see who the real pussy is, right, Barry? You have no choice when you run into me but to put your hands on me or you are a pussy bitch. And I already own you, but go ahead and show the whole world how much I do really own you. So, Daddy and Daddy are going to sign off here. Beamer, hope you got your diapers on for this one, because you're going to be pissed that we that we didn't take a fit to any that you Jesus said. Christ. Hey, Beamer, unlike you, on a, serious, on a fucking real serious note, unlike you, nothing you said about me, besides the pedophile thing, bugs me. I just... I mean, and that don't bug me either. You exactly. Keep, you keep saying it, and I, ca I catch any kind of flack from it. I will go file small claims in your county, and just like you threatened me. But I'm going to do it, motherfucker. I mean, and then we'll see who's laughing. Because let's face the facts. Um, everything that you call me fat ass, you call me a loser, Barry. I know I'm a loser. Nothing you will ever say about me, dude. I haven't said ten feet from the fucking mirror looking back at myself. That's what I, mean. I, mean, I can brush my shit off. The problem is, Barry, you can't laugh at yourself. You you can't say, oh, yeah, I know, right? Fuck you. You, you. you know everything we say about you is true, and it eats at your core. Hence why you're going to go get new glasses, because I've poked fun of your Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. 
Hence why you're looking at big boy quads now. Hence why you're coming up in scabs when you do do a video. I thought LTZs wasn't race quads, baby. But now you're gonna buy one. I mean, come on, man. You're you're. Everybody's gonna see you for what you are. It might not be today. It might even be this month. Eventually, that shit is gonna catch on. What you said. What you said to them young girls. That's gonna catch on. Because all it takes is one of these bigger pedophile YouTubers to, to get on this shit. And it's going to happen quicker than later. The ones that don't like pedophiles. Right. The ones that don't like 61-year-old men telling fucking 18, um, I'm doing quote marks, that they, they don't look fucking 18, but anyway, 18-year-olds, that you're going to give them candy to, to do shit with them. Hey, Barry, you're like such a little kid. Hey, Barry, you're such a Mopar guy. What generation was that bed at your friend's house? What generation? I'll go ahead and tell you, it's before nineteen. It's before nineteen eighty. It's a truck bed, but you're a Mopar guy. I'm sure you know that. Um, <laughs> I don't know shit about nothing, though. On your life, son, I'm not even kidding. And you can ask anybody, man. If your mom was there at twenty years old, Jack, it wouldn't matter if he was in the middle of that motherfucking that, that swap meet, dude. When I seen him, I'd have got him. It'd have been done, and I would have went to jail, done it plenty of fucking times. Hey, Barry. I mean, do this, do this. That's for... knucklehead shit, Barry. You're wanting to be a knucklehead because you can't beat us any other way besides trying to. Talk He's about not clever up. enough. No, only knuckleheads act like that. Dumbasses. On a serious note, Beamer, Jack Horner Jr. is my dad's name. Do a background. And and to Ryan, on a serious note, kid, I'm sorry that you're gonna lose your fucking YouTube channel because eventually you're. De I mean, look at y'all's views when this shit started, kid. Your views have went down. How does it feel that that hit, our last video, Barry, pulled more views in less than 24 hours, a lot more views in less than 24 hours, did. than your last video pulled in two days? Talk shit all you want. It's coming, man. You're going to get what you want. And I, again, I'm sorry, kid, because you deserve better than this. And you just, you got dealt a bad hand in life. You really did. And that's fucked up because... You deserve a better dad than Barry. And you can say what you want, kid, but we both know what your dad is. I'll, I'll be shocked if you bring girlfriends around and... and he lets you think it's okay to sit in the same room with him and watch porn and, and deal with your shit? Even just to watch porn with your, with your son in the same room? Don't... If you have kids, please don't do that to him, but that's incest, man. Google it. And I mean, I'll be shocked, kid, if whenever you brought a girlfriend around, Barry wasn't trying to fucking, like, pull a threesome and some funny shit. But... That's besides the point. That's all conjecture. I mean, I, yeah, that's conjecture. But I want to say something else on a serious note. Barry, you can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. On a serious note, but there's one thing that I, that I am that, that you are not. And I'm a good person. And I'm a better fucking man at 25 than you are. Which means at 61, I'm going to be a greater man than you are now. You'll be 20 times the man he is. You're already 20 times the man he is. And, have and I have offered... Let's build, let's, let's build an engine. You don't have to mention my channel. Let's build an engine. Me against you. Or Every part of it has to yeah. be filmed, though. Yep. Every fucking part of it. And if it's anything's changed in the next video, I mean, every part of it has to be filmed. Let's do Nothing it. Nothing can get done to that motor unless it's you, there. And I'm going to stress this. You don't have to mention my fucking channel. You mention Every time you say our names, exactly. they Google our names, find a channel, then they, they're going to find out about you, Barry. So keep, keep mentioning us. Good, you mentioned our name. Good boy. You're doing exactly what daddy wants. You, you're you're the perfect puppet. We pull a string and you dance. So dance for my puppet later tomorrow or the next day or whenever you feel like getting on here and mentioning me again. What's Because what's gonna happen in India if he sh if he shows and shows his ass, he's not gonna put his hand if he if he puts his hands on me, then whatever happens, it happens. But he's not gonna like the outcome of it afterwards because you can't do that in front of all them fucking people and think you're just gonna walk away. And on live stream. Yeah, you you're, it's not gonna happen. You know what I mean? But he's not gonna put his hand. He's gonna stand there and get loud and talk shit, and then they're gonna he's ask not gonna him. Please. Show up. He's gonna be talking to himself because I'll turn around and walk away. I mean, I'm not. He's I'm gonna not, be the only one that's there that's gonna get banned for life. Right. I mean, he's an idiot. And everyone he's with. I mean, he ain't going on no Friday anyway. I mean, yeah, all he right. Does, he does. So see you guys next time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. See you guys next time for more Barry shenanigans. You know, hopefully he can come back with something besides the bullshit he's been saying. I mean. I called it, he said I have buck teeth, but I only got one tooth in the front of my fucking skull, so I don't know how I can have buck teeth. Be a buck tooth? Exactly, I mean. And, but don't and, worry, in a couple and, months, we'll both have teeth buried, but don't think it had nothing to do with you. <laughs> Them plans was already in the works before you came along, bud. Well, it takes time. And I'm just getting off, but. Hey, Barry, I, I got told that you were saying I sleep all day. You know why I sleep all day? 
because I usually work till one or two o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm actually doing things. I'm not sitting on my you ass playing PlayStation. Shop to do it in. Yeah. Garage, hey, it leaks, but it, it's dirt floor, but I could build an engine in it, unlike you. And I'm getting ready for cement, but it ain't gonna be in the garage. It's gonna be in front of the garage. For, for we gotta get that lift and put up there too, so we can use a lift, unlike him. Right. I mean. All right. See you guys next time. Bye bye. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God! They got these. They get these what they call ringworms in their head. Oh my God! And the talk about lice. Oh my God! And the women are just as they. Oh God, no! I was like, who would do? Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I had one of them.